Future Awards 2015. I'm not a nominee today, but I'm here to attend as a guest. I, the last time I attended was 2000, 2010. This is my first Future Awards, and I'm really looking forward to us meeting people and then, you know, seeing those who will finally get their awards. So, um, my eyes are open and just basically looking forward to everything, performances and basically having fun. I just want them to do the same great things they do, you know, the same great things they do every time. But I'm just, I'm just them to do more. You understand? It's a tense one, so I expect it to see the crowd is already massive. Maybe because the venue is small, though, but <laughs> you know what's up now. It's the future. Good evening. We're here to present for two categories uh, the Future Awards Prize in Education and in Public Service. And the nominees are Lily Kodro, 27, Ghana. Josephine Marie Godwin, Ghana. Cynthia Omochuba. 23, Nigeria. And the winner is Lily Kotro. I have been at two previous ones, and in 2005, or was it 2006 or 2007, I was nominated. It's, yeah, even then, I think it was just fresh, and I was just like, oh my God, I've been nominated for an award. And then to see that it's 10 years old, it's, you know, it's exciting. <laughs> Get to present the award for prize in advocacy and activism. And the nominees are. Ziva Marindiro, 27, Zimbabwe. Olumayawa Okediro, 25, Nigeria. Queen Babonoki, 25, Botswana. And uh, the award goes to Queen. Babaloki from Botswana. I'm happy to say I was at the very first one. I attended the very first one and I think I've, in all I have attended about six or seven of them out of ten. So hey, I've done good. I have really, really watched them grow from, in, from inception and I'm so, so proud of them. I am I'm very, very happy what it has done. It's gone beyond Nigeria. It's gone beyond Africa even, even to Nigerians and Africans in the diaspora. So steady growth. They have become real role models to young people because I met them when they were all in their, in their late teens, early 20s, you know. So now they're 10 years older, as well as the show. I mean, it's really, really positive. It's time for the uh, award for the prize in entertainment. Let's check out the nominees. Yemi Aladi, 26, Nigeria. Olamide Bado Adedeji, 26, Nigeria. Vanessa Ndi, 27, Tanzania. And the winner is Bado. I mean, to be honest, I, I, I don't know so much about the award show because I'm pretty much new to it right now. But I know that they're supporting Africa and what we represent as a continent. And it just feels good to know that, you know, we have award shows that unite the whole continent and bring everybody together in one night. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a great thing. Woke up one Sunday morning, told my daddy I'm leaving home, going off to the city tomorrow, even though I don't know where to go. Daddy said, son, don't be a fool. It's a future award, so for you to be honored or to be nominated means that you've made your contribution. So for me, everybody's a winner. You know, it's not the award like, oh, best song or best, you know, it's about the contribution that you've made to society, you know, so everybody deserves uh, uh, that spot. I want to say well done. I think a lot of times, uh, one of the things that we like in Nigeria is consistency. So the fact that you can prove yourself to be consistent and to be relevant and to continue to inspire, inspire, us, inspire us as the youth, I think it's very commendable. And I wish them another 10, 20, 30 years because I think it's so needed to encourage us as African youths to do better. I was surprised. You know, I, I was nominated alongside some of the best brains in Africa, some of the most incredible persons this continent has. So to win this is such an incredible honor, 
and I was astonished, so surprised. Oh my God, hearing my name was like, oh Lord, it was like cold water on my head. <laughs> so it was amazing. You know, I'm very grateful because I, I know everybody in this category works so hard. We all work so hard. This this field of helping people get jobs, developing themselves, is an everyday and every night job. And to be recognized for it when you didn't even think it was worthy of recognition, it's amazing. So I'm very grateful. If you go to thefutureafrica.com, you will find the portal on how you can get involved. We are doing a 100 city tour. We have been to Chibok, we've been to Mubi, we've been to Banjo. We're going to 90 more cities across the continent, spotlighting the issues that have been... Exhausting. Um, it was the 10th year, you know, and... It was exhausting, you know, trying to tell all the stories, trying to, you know, make it short, sharp and simple. I think this is one of the shortest the future has had. Um, we just try to hit the nail on the head, straight up, you know, get the message out and move, you know. Um, it was tough, you know, but uh, overall, as it did go well, um, uh, we had all the charges to inspire the audience. We had excellent speakers. Um, the nominees and their profiles were very inspiring and very young people you know, 24, 26, 27, doing great work across the continent um, in advocacy, in entrepreneurship, in community action, in entertainment, you know, and so overall, people living here with a good feeling, thanks to God.